What up, nerds? Evan from Cyfreaks here. I'm here to try and answer one of the biggest questions I get asked. What is Cyfreaks? As the creator, I can tell you the history. I've always been a huge fan of sci-fi and fantasy stories and wanted a way to celebrate and become part of these worlds. So I set to work and actually started with three separate projects. Galaxy Race, which was an animated Lego adventure. A book series called The Land of the Arrows. And Star Wars Episode 7, a stop-motion Lego movie. At this time, Disney hadn't even acquired Lucasfilm, so Episode 7 didn't exist at the time. So I thought I'd make it because it didn't seem likely that it was going to happen. Then, in summer of 2010, I had an idea to merge them together. At this point, I was really starting to branch out upon different types of storytelling, including video games. Even though I had grown up playing video games, this was when I was really starting to understand what MMOs were and really understand how dynamic video games can be, especially LEGO video games. So I merged them together in a video game called LEGO Minifig Madness. It was supposed to be the ultimate LEGO MMO video game. What's really cool about it is that it was supposed to introduce uh, a feature of custom minifigs, and you could even scan in existing minifigs into it. Now, I was young, I was in middle school, and I didn't really know how to do this kind of thing. So, I decided that maybe this wasn't for me. However, as time continued on, I still wrote stories for it. Even if I knew it was never going to exist, I still wanted some semblance of this universe that was the intersection between everything. And that's what I spent a lot of my time doing. And until his passing in 2012, my father loved playing out little stories with me using my actual physical Lego collection as a base. We played out these various stories, and these stories were written into LEGO Minifid Madness, uh, and vice versa, I would come up with a great story and then test it out with him. So both kind of adopted stories from each other. One day, my dad made a joke. I had said, I love sci-fi. I'm a freak. You know, joking and all. And he joked in reply, saying, you're a Cyfreak. On that day in August of 2012, the name Cyfreaks was adopted, and over the next year, all previous ideas formed into what is now known as the web series of Cyfreaks. Over the next several years, it just started picking up steam as almost like a type of LARP amongst me and my friends. We all created our own characters, our own stories. Uh, I had new friends that joined and everything like that. In 2015, we released a rough, simple concept short entitled Wards. It really was not the most well put together story or animation, but it showed us that something like it was possible. And this was important because this told us that we weren't wasting our time. At the time, it was really difficult to fathom going to school and living out a life and also doing a web series that can't make money. For the next few years, we really expanded the stories and made what essentially was the basis of Cyfreak's lore. We wrote how to integrate most sci-fi stories and made the plan to set it in the Star Wars universe and the MCU. I wasn't a huge fan of the MCU until the Avengers came out, but the Avengers changed everything because it showed me that intersecting existing stories together was possible. And not only that, the MCU proved that you could have very wildly different stories that could intersect together in the same universe, but be told separately and then have the intersection. So I thought, because the ideas of the MCU already had stories that were individually told and then eventually put together, I figured, what if we did this on a bigger scale with every sci-fi ever? We could basically tell the story of how things like Halo exists in our version of the Star Wars and MCU universes. 
And this is where Cyfreaks really became this solid idea. In 2018, we started many projects, including our most produced one at the time, Star Wars Heir to Chaos. This was the first feature-length plan since my original Star Wars Episode 7, and a lot of ideas were reused from that, along with new ideas, of course, fitting it into the current Cyfreaks universe. But in spring 2020, everything changed when the coronavirus attacked. Many members had left by the end of 2019, and the remaining members became too busy to help. The lockdown of COVID and the majority of other various issues, the age group that I was in, we were all kind of transitioning into our own lives individually. And these factors led to the complete shutdown of Cyfreaks. We were going to cancel everything. And there have been several moments in time where this was going to happen, but this one literally happened. Work on it stopped completely. We then kind of went back to earlier versions of Cyfreaks in that we would come up with stories and talk about our characters and come up with fun designs and design cool ships and things like that. But all in all, there was no major anything. Small stories were talked about, but it was more of a relaxed hangout and kind of like, hey, let's chill out and talk about sci-fi all day. And that is important. And we'll come back to that. During 2020 and 2021, I decided to shift my overall focus to my planned video game, Master Zolt. Master Zolt was originally going to be a video game that took place before the main series of Sci Freaks and kind of was like a prequel, if you will. However, it was going to be a video game inspired by retro style games like Fez or Shovel Knight. It even had the open world feel of Breath of the Wild, and I wanted to incorporate such wonderful worlds together. However, I realized making it part of Cyfreaks was difficult, so I came up with a plan. By making the story a part of Cyfreaks that isn't IP connected, that is, taking the existing intellectual properties out of Cyfreaks, I had enough of a story to tell my own story. I figured I could use my creativity to make money and later revisit Cyfreaks once I made enough money, and in 2022 I was convinced to restart Cyfreaks. And with the remaining members' help, I did. I started it up. I even created a new plan. See. Like I mentioned, one nagging issue with Cyfrix was money. Since we used existing intellectual properties, I couldn't monetize it. Yeah, there's monetizing fan fictions and stuff like that, but it becomes such a gray area, and because we had so many, it just became one of those things where it just didn't seem feasible, and so I always wanted it to be free. But that meant that it was volunteer only, which meant that my friends only did it when they had free time. And as people probably have figured out, as you get older, you lose free time over time, so to speak. So Master Zolt was really going strong. And at this point, the soundtrack was one of the main things I worked on, and I loved it. And also, I was starting to work on improving my artwork skills, decided to really start doing some key art. So I was thinking about how Master Zolt skirts around the existing IPs, and in fall 2022, an event that we call The Split happened. I realized I could take Master Zolt, make it a template for how I want to run Cyfreaks in the future. So we made a second Cyfreaks channel and named the original one Cyfreaks Classic, whereas this new channel became known as Cyfreaks Modern. Cyfreaks Classic has the stories we wanted to do with the existing IPs, like Star Wars, Air to Chaos, and so on, and those still are in the plan. Whether or not they will be done in a year or 20 is another story, but they are in the plan. This new channel, the Cyfreaks Modern 
will be monetized and contain various shorts, animations, stories, whatever, that are probably related to Psy Freaks, but in their own way. They are more separate from the intellectual property. I even had the idea to put devlogs and even master result updates and trailers and things like that on Psy Freaks Modern. I also have some other side projects that I thought would be fun to put on Psy Freaks Modern, and I have a huge list of things that I want to get done. So that's where we're at. Psy Freaks is more than just a silly YouTube web series. It is a universe that we created to be the intersection of these already great stories, but it also allows us to write our own great stories. And Master Zolt is just the beginning. And hopefully, as time goes on, I can update this video and say that it worked. But for now, I have a lot of work to get done. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this wasn't as much of a standard video as most of my videos, but I wanted this to be kind of the start of something new. So if you liked this video, please give it a like. Um, please subscribe to us if you're as excited about these stories as we are. Stay salty, stay fresh, and most importantly, stay nerdy.